Data management. What is it and why do we want it? Data management can be compared to building a castle. The data management framework we'll go through today consists of nine focus areas plus governance. If you have a dream or a vision of building a castle, and if you ever want to realize that vision, you will need to take care of the groundwork first. In other words, based on your requirements and wishes, a good architectural building plan needs to be created that takes the basic principles of building construction into account. Then before beginning to build, the plan will need to get approved by the right authorities. There are many similarities between the construction business and data management. In data management we also create a plan known as the enterprise and data architecture that serves to achieve the set vision. Requirements and wishes are collected and translated into conceptual plans, designs or models, anticipating on the data architecture principles. Thereupon, the Design or Authority Architecture Board approves the conceptual plans and checks if it is embedded in standard processes. However, to keep everything well organized, structure, ownership and knowing who is responsible for what is necessary. You can imagine that the different groups of people, like plumbers, electricians and others always need to collaborate to be on the same track. Planning, keeping track of dependencies and monitoring those is essential to get the, your castle built right. Within data management, structure and ownership is also necessary. The structure is translated into a strategic, tactical and operational level. Data ownership and a data governance board are appointed on the strategic level. A data governance board is a small group of people who represent the entire organization. They are allowed to make decisions and have a data vision which is on par with the data architecture. Since a vision isn't something tangible, the vision is translated into policies within the tactical level, mostly documents which are long and not always understandable. Thus, on an operational level, the policies are embedded into the standard procedures which enable everyone to execute. Meaning, there are lots of different groups and everyone within the organization needs to be on the same track, know who to contact and is responsible for data management. To see if the quality of the processes and thus data improves, a data management issue process is in place, which is connected to the day-to-day -day method of working, Agile Scrum. In addition, KPIs, also known as Key Performance Indicators, are in place which enables the Data Governance Board to manage. To be able to begin their construction, the plumbers and electricians need detailed plans, like electricity or plumbing plans, and these need to be incorporated into the overall plan. In these detailed plans, but also during the construction, it's essential that the principles of building are taken into consideration. Additionally, everyone should work with the proper tools and replace and discard them when necessary. Each person is trained on how to use them and has the authorization for that specific type of work which needs to be done. During the construction, all kinds of aspects are tested, like if the water flows correctly and there are no leakages. Translated into data management, this means that the conceptual models are translated into logical and technical models. During development, the principle of data architecture needs to be taken into consideration and everyone should work with the chosen standard tools, as will be described in a minute. The tooling needs to be managed and only persons who are trained and authorized may access the tooling. If leakages arise, it might mean that the plumber will need to redo his work, which may mean he needs new materials or different or more tools. This can all result into the need for changing one of the plans. In database operations, the capacity, performance and availability of the needed people and tools should be comprehensible or even optimized. How to deal with discarding or having a backup toolset 
when replacement of tooling is required, is described in official documents. Additionally, it is clear what the standard tools are, what is required, desired and acceptable in different situations. To optimize, retain, backup and recover structured data in predefined tools or systems is part of the data lifecycle, also known as the create, read, update and delete cycle. Rules related to safety and security are documented and brought into practice, for instance to make sure that everyone can work in a safe environment, the building will not collapse and only authorized people can enter the building site. The constructor will comply to law and regulation rules and can prove it by obtained building certifications. Within data security, an information and security policy is put in place which contains the security goals and measures. The goals and measures are planned and built in order to verify, authorize, access and audit data and information. This is in compliance with law and regulatory requirements for privacy but also ISO 27001 and managed via an information security management system. When working on such a large project, different processes need to be administered in different systems. For all the constructors to be able to do some construction, all the needed tools need to be purchased, distributed or stored until needed. If one system is correct and the others are not, it could lead to not having the right building materials or tools to continue. Reference and master data management would come in handy at this point in time. The goal of reference and master data management is synchronization of the most critical pieces of data within the organization. First, the critical data, mostly related to products or people, are brought together at one place with the right definition. Second, all the subsystems are connected to it to synchronize the data. And third, the quality is addressed to check if the data which is synchronized is correct. This is not an IT only party because the business owns the success. This means the business needs processes for consistent creation, usage and addressing discrepancies between systems to ensure the golden record. When the head of construction or any organization wants insight in the progress of a project, all data needs to be easily accessible so that reports or analysis can be made. These reports or analysis are of course automatically updated and enable management to make strategic decisions. To make this possible, a technical framework for all the systems is built and maintained. This needs to be done in consideration with all previous aspects mentioned in database operations, data security, reference and master data, data architecture and metadata, which we will discuss later on. But if the buyer wants to see the progress and is not able to visit the construction site, captured pictures can tell a thousand words, right? Well, in data management vocabulary, pictures, email, audio or for example Twitter messages are called unstructured data. The process to handle this type of data is identical to database operations, which states the data lifecycle for structured data. The difference, however, is the desire to translate it as quickly as possible to meaningful data. Meaningful data? Hmm, what is the connection to metadata? That sounds difficult. Metadata are the additional descriptions which are related to one data element. For instance in construction a hammer is used. A hammer comes in different sizes, materials, prices, year of manufacturing, etc. This is called the metadata of the hammer. The metadata needs to be stored at one location or glossary. When metadata such as the quality criteria, security characteristics, technical characteristics or even reference and master data characteristics are connected to the business definitions which are used in reports or analysis. 
it becomes possible to track a data element among all systems where it's registered. The tracking of a data element from its source to a report is called data lineage. So why are we doing this all again? To build a castle? Or to make sure we are in control of our people, processes, technology and data? I can tell you, it's the latter. Within data quality, different dimensions of data, like accuracy, completeness, validity, etc. are made, established, assessed and lead to the request for optimizing or cleansing data. The data quality dashboard gives the data owners insight in the current status and since they are part of the data governance board, they are able to make decisions, sometimes political ones, to improve the data quality and achieve the data management vision.